Good morning, this is DJ, and I just wanted to record a short demo video of this tiling window manager for Chrome OS that I found this weekend. Uh, I've been looking for a tiling window manager for Chrome OS for a, for a while, um, and I've even gone so far as to uh, install or use Crostini to install um, a full Linux uh, system where I could use a window manager like i3. And I have been doing that, but of course it's uh, you know, a little bit involved. And this tiling window manager is is simple, but pretty much meets all my needs. It's got a small number of predefined layouts, which I can cycle through now. For example, with the keyboard shortcuts, great supports for great support for keyboard shortcuts, as you can see over here. Um, you can define whatever you want, but I've taken all the suggestions. I've only got one display, so I've not actually. Uh, set any shortcuts for uh, focusing different displays here. So I can I can um, uh, loop through the different layouts with, uh, in my case, Alt Shift Space. So there's uh, there's a wide layout, and of course then columns, and then back to uh, what I'm calling a tall layout. I can cycle through the focus. You can see that the, uh, at the moment well, I've changed the color scheme here, so I can see the focus better. So I'm currently focused on this, this window here. I'm going to move across and focus down to my terminal and round again to the large window in the, in the main, main pane. Uh, and so on. So now if I create another window, another browser window, um, it will appear here. And another one will appear here, for example. I can, of course, close those. Uh, and similarly, if I've got this uh, this layout here, further further windows will appear here. Now I can, for example, um, let's just move this back across and let's go back to um, uh, my favorite layout. I can go to the uh, terminal, for example, and I want to say I I would like that to be uh, the main pane. So I can hit a keyboard shortcut and bring that one to the main pane. I can go back across here, close that one, for example. Um, yeah, it's it's a really really nice simple layout. Um, I can. For example, what else can I do? Um, what else? Have I, oh, yes, of course, I've been uh, using the uh, Alt Shift H and L, the BIM key, BIM key binding style, uh, to resize uh, horizontally uh, the panes, the windows. And that's pretty much what I use this for. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, I, as, as I said, I've chosen uh, the configuration to have some gaps here. Let me just show you the configuration. Let me go into here. And uh, let me move that to the main pane here. So I've got a margin, a gap of 30 pixels, which results in this gap here and sort of gaps between the windows here. And uh, if, if I move to this extension keyboard shortcut, generally, uh, you can see the sorts of keyboard shortcuts and the sorts of features that uh, this extension offers. So I've been cycling through layouts. Um, if for, for whatever reason, you know, I, I you know, deliberately or accidentally uh, resize um, a window manually. I can sort of force a, a re-evaluation of the window. Uh, and in fact, that happens as well if, if I move here and then, you know, I go and focus somewhere else, uh, the extension will auto refocus, which is which is quite nice too. And that's pretty much it. I can, oh, by the way, yes, the other thing is that um, if I wanted, for example, you know, um, a layout where I had four windows, uh, what I can do, what I found I can do is I can say, well, I'll just move, um, I'll, I'll create another window here, and then I will use this shortcut, uh, the uh, Alt Shift comma, to increase the number of windows in the main pane, as in I have another window in this main pane. So if I say Alt Shift comma, we'll have one there. And if I do that again, that other window from the, the, the secondary pane will move over. If I reduce again, uh, Back down to one, the number of main, uh, the number of windows in the main pane, it'll go back to where I was, and that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching.